A way to sustainably supply electricity to a city or town is through the use of wind turbines. They are these huge, tower-like structures that are capable of turning wind energy into electricity using the aerodynamic force from the rotor blades. In today's Lord Gizmo video, we will take a look at how these wind turbines are assembled into the site. But before that, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Since they are very tall structures, they need to have a strong foundation to ensure its security. This means that workers need to build a sturdy foundation first so that there will be support for the turbine's components. They do this by clearing out a portion of the site and excavating it. The space should be enough for the turbine. Then they pour concrete over it and embed steel reinforcements. Usually, the foundation consists of a reinforced concrete slab with multiple anchors that connect it to the tower. Next up, they start with the tower assembly. A wind turbine's tower, which varies in height depending on the model and use, is its primary structural element. More wind energy can be captured by the blades on taller towers, but they also call for larger foundations and stronger materials. After being manufactured off-site, the tower pieces are delivered to the project site and placed vertically with the aid of cranes or other lifting equipment. These high-powered trucks and vehicles are now seen transporting the components of a wind turbine to the site. More often than not, these are delivered in sections because it would be too big to do it as a whole. Once they reach the site, they will be offloaded carefully. To make sure that there will be a systematic and accurate way of doing things, they will first be arranged in correct order. Since they are quite heavy and big, the site uses special machines to lift and move them around. Usually, these are large cranes capable of lifting each section. Modern turbines are getting larger, requiring even bigger and more powerful cranes for safe and efficient assembly. After that, one by one these sections will be assembled on the foundation built. They use high-strength bolts and specialized welding techniques to ensure a strong hold on them. They even use this special mixture to ensure that the connection between one portion of the wind turbine tower is secure enough. Once the main structure is complete, technicians access the tower interior to install internal components like ladders, platforms and lightning protection systems. In doing all of these things, the workers need to consider outsider factors too, like wind, rain and other weather factors. After that, they proceed with the nacelle installation. Right after they have completely built the tower of the wind turbine, they proceed to lifting and securing the brain of the structure of the nacelle. This is a crucial part of wind turbines that holds the gearbox, generator and control systems. Basically, the nacelle is what converts the wind energy into electricity. In fact, nacelles are pre-assembled and tested at manufacturing facilities before transport to the wind farm site. The nacelle will be safely lifted from its transport platform by strong cranes with a minimum lifting capacity of 1,000 tons in order to be installed on the wind turbine. The nacelle is carefully manipulated onto the tower top and precisely positioned with accurate measurements and adjustments. Next, to ensure stability in a range of weather situations, the nacelle is securely fastened to the tower using high-strength bolts and specific anchoring mechanisms. After the nacelle is secured, technicians can access its interior to connect control systems, power cables and other essential parts. Now, it's time to take a look at how they assemble these huge blades onto the top of the wind turbine. Blade assembly is the final, awe-inspiring step in bringing a wind turbine to life, equipping it with the majestic structures that capture the wind's energy. The workhorses of the turbine are these long, thin structures, which are usually composed of fiberglass or carbon fiber composites. They transform wind energy into rotational motion. 
Large turbines like the Haliadi X can have blades that are over 100 meters long, whereas smaller turbines typically have blades that are about 20 meters long. Since individual blades can weigh several tons, specific handling and assembly methods are needed. First, the wind turbines are manufactured off-site and then transported to the site. Specialized trucks or trailers are used to properly move each individual blade from the production facility to the wind farm location. To manage the weight and bulk of the blades during transit, these vehicles are outfitted with cranes and outriggers. Following that, strong cranes are used to offload and hoist them. Heavy lifting apparatus, such as mobile cranes, is utilized for lifting each blade one at a time to the hub level. The bases of each blade are firmly fastened by technicians using bolts, pins or clamps to the corresponding slot on the hub flange. The alignment of the blade with the hub is checked to guarantee the best pitch angle possible for effective wind capture. To achieve optimal fitment, this technique requires exact alignment and torque control. They make sure to fasten these blades with strong bolts and specific locking mechanisms in order to protect the workers who will be in close proximity to the site. These are built to securely fasten the blade to the hub, ensuring it withstands wind forces and vibrations. Electrical connections must be made between the blade's root ends and the hub electronics prior to combining all three blades. Every blade has wiring and sensors to track variables such as power generation, rotation speed and pitch angle. The rotor shaft and hub contain hollow areas where these connectors pass through. The entire rotor is balanced to reduce stress and maximize performance when all of the blades are installed. To guarantee seamless and effective performance, small tweaks may be necessary. Each turbine is put through final testing and commissioning procedures after installation before it is put into service. To ensure appropriate functionality and safety standards, this involves inspections, calibrations and performance tests. Furthermore, grid connection points are built, control systems are programmed and remote monitoring capabilities are set up. Now, that is how they assemble wind turbines. This sustainable way of acquiring energy indeed needs a lot of precision and heavy-duty machines just for it to get built. Even with all those meticulous processes, it does help the environment and at the same time provides for the needs of the people. This gives us more reasons to appreciate cities who have made an effort to use wind energy more. This has been Lord Gizmo and we hope you learned a thing or two. Before you leave, please don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel and clicking the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we have new uploads.